Good morning everyone. Okay, so today you get a bonus bonus. Um, just looking for cards to choose. Um, I'll use the golden tarot. Um, I did the, the bonus read and it was a romance one and I thought not everybody wants to listen to romance. I'll see if I can get you something else out of the ether. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for watching my channel, for being with me, for joining me on the journey. If you're new, welcome. I love having new people on board too. It's really important to me. So, okay. These cards are beautiful too. Just they get a bit shiny on the screen. I'm waiting for a light to come through and it still hasn't come. And I put in a little bit of a, you know, why hasn't my light come thing? And they said, oh, don't worry. We'll send you another one. And neither of them have come. So I'm hoping they've been held up in the mail. <laughs> Alrighty, ready to go. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords coming out here first. Now, the Seven of Swords can be a card that talks of deceit, of stealing, of something being taken from you. Um, in this card, this person looks entirely devious. Um, they are leaving two swords behind here, so they're not wanting the whole lot. Um, it's not about greed. It's about taking something that this person feels like they need from you. So there you go, it may be on more of a, a non-physical plane, somebody taking something. The tower is here. So the tower talks about breaking down of old structures, rethinking the way we do things and rebuilding again. Um, I know a lot of people used to get really um, concerned when the tower was here. It's not the nicest looking card, but actually I see it as an incredibly positive card because for me it's about you know, taking away something that long, no longer serves you to move you on a better part of your journey. So sometimes this can be about opening up yourself mentally, spiritually. Sometimes it can be a physical thing, but who knows. Okay, so I have the Two of Cups coming out here. This is interesting. So the Two of Cups talks of love. It talks of two people being in love. Um, they don't look really in love in this card, though, I've got to say. They're not even looking at each other. I was going to say, this is about two people meet eye to eye, but he's way taller than her. Um, but this is about love. It's about soulmates. Okay, and then I have the Six of Coins. Now, the Six of Coins talks of having an evil... Uh, an evil. Ooh. Freudian slip? I'll let you decide. Talks about having an equal give and take of something. Um, I often see this card when there's been relationships where one person has been really cold in the relationship and the other person's been giving lots of love and the other person's not giving back. Comes up a lot in narcissistic relationships where you have one partner who's, you know, more of that sort of all about me thing. Um, but definitely talking of uh, finding an equal give and take here. There's a realisation here about that in a relationship, but I'll go into that more. So I have the Page of Cups here. This guy also come out into the What's Cracking reading. So um, the Page of Cups talks about getting an offer of love um, or an offer of a fish, whichever way you want to take it. Um, this person could be a water sign that you're dealing with. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. So there's potential for great love and happiness here and joy. The Ten of Cups is a beautiful card about happy families, you know, having everything, all your ducks in a row, you know, everything going really well. Um, that's a mighty skinny baby she has on her lap, by the way. It is a beautiful card. <laughs> They're really beautiful, these cards. Um, but the Ten of Cups coming out here as well, straight over the tower. So that looks like it's a really good outcome. The King of Swords is coming out here, so you could be dealing with an air sign, but this feels more like an energy for me. This is about, you know, being very composed, being logical, sort of standing your ground, speaking your truth, um, but definitely being very logical about something, taking a very logical approach to something here. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Cups. So your page is now a knight. So somebody, somebody's really trying to make an offer here. I think the first card was sort of like a bit of a, a bit of a temptation, and this card may be something more realistic coming in here. I think because you've stood your ground here. Okay, so we have the Devil coming out here. Very interesting reading. So the Devil talks of ego. When I was just saying up here about egos in relationships, 
talks about obsession. Um, can talk about addictions as well. But something that there's way too much of here. Way too much. Or way too little is what they're saying. Way too little. No investment here. Somebody's not investing in something. Okay, that makes sense to me. And I have the Ace of Wands here, which is a new start. And it's a passionate new start as well. So that's really nice. So definitely moving forward towards some sort of passionate new start here. Now, before I put the last card on, I will do another bit of a recap here. So as a page, oh no, it was the Seven of Swords that came out in the beginning. Deceit. Now, when I say deceit, and I often hear people saying, oh, you know, it's um, all, the, it, all the bad things. And I always know... With the Seven of Swords, when it's come up in readings before, it can be about someone being in love with you but not telling you. That's level of deceit. It can be someone who's not being truthful with you, yes, but it may not be a bad not truthful. It may be that they haven't really let you in to how they're feeling. So just keep that in mind because I have a strong feeling of that in this reading. I feel like there is some sort of offer here from somebody. Um, I feel like this person is your soulmate. I do believe there is potential for great happiness here. However, something has to be broken down before it can move forward. And it, there is a breaking down of this in this reading. So what we're talking about here is a relationship between two people where there is no equal give and take. One of these people has not been investing in this relationship. So it could have been a past relationship or it could be something you're currently going into. Um, this is definitely about taking a, a very logical approach to this and understanding, you know, what you're doing here is putting in a lot of love and attention and investing a great deal of yourself in something where you'll get no return. Now, something, because you take this logical approach here, because you're taking this very direct approach, what's happening here is something is breaking down in order for this relationship to move forward. Because we moved from the page to the Knight of Cups, which says to me the person is leveling up. They're still not a king, but they are leveling up in order to move forward on this. So if you've had a relationship where there's been no equal give and take, um, and maybe has there has been a breakdown, or you've walked away from this person, or you've taken this very logical approach and said, jam it up your backside, buddy. I'm not moving forward on this until you start to do something towards the relationship because with the devil card here it definitely tells me that somebody is using this relationship for their own means so they're seeing this relationship as about them it's very much about the ego here so what you need to do is bring balance in and somehow or another you do that with this king of swords energy it's like you're really um you're, you're laying it on the line it's just as simple as that. You're laying it on the line and you're telling someone, I don't want to move forward with you. You're not putting enough effort in. I'm ready to work on this relationship. If you're not, go and get your horse and take your cup with you. I was going to say something really bad then, but I won't. <laughs> Jam it up your backside. Um, and you're walking away from something. But see, the thing is, what I see here is a brand new start. So... One of two things could happen here, and I'm waiting for the next card now because I'll keep you all in suspense. One of two things. Either this person is able to turn this around and come back as the knight and offer you something because we do have this ace of wands here which talks of a brand new start, something very passionate. Or it could be you move on from this. Although I don't have a move on card, I'm seeing this ace of wands thinking maybe you decide not to go forward with this as well. So definitely this um, feeling of, um, ah, four of coins coming out here. So four of coins on this reading. So what you have here is either a person who's not letting go of their old ways or you not letting go of the idea of moving forward with this if it's not the way, shape or form that you want it in. But definitely a hanging on to something here. Now, sometimes this can be somebody hanging on to old ways this is why the tower's here and um, so it could be about breaking down this person's idea about how a relationship should work you know I'm not defending people but you know I feel like in our society for example and this is no offense to to men because I think it happens with women a lot and especially with myself 
there is this thing where you know you are taught not to express your emotions um you know a lot of men are raised by other men who are very cold because they weren't allowed to feel or understand their own emotionality um, if you were a child like me raised in a very sort of strict home we were sort of like every time we showed any emotion it was sort of knocked on the head so little girls don't cry you know stop your whining that sort of thing so we weren't allowed to express ourselves which makes it very hard because I'm not good at expressing my emotions either so you know when you're coming into a relationship like this sometimes someone cannot express how they feel this is where this seven of swords figures so dominantly here because this isn't about being deceitful however it is about wearing a mask because you're not being true to who you truly are and if you're not expressing yourself to someone then how can you have a good solid basis for a relationship you know what the tower will come out every time under those circumstances because something four of pentacles here something has to be broken down somebody has to see something a different way before this can move forward so this is what this reading is all about and i've already done a karma soulmate one but this is very much about karma and soulmates again so obviously something that the universe needed to get forward you saw the other day i did three readings and they pretty much said the same thing okay so here we've got make the effort so the card says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and that's perfect for this reading because what that says to me then if someone is really invested in you and they really do love you whether they're saying so or not this is about them being able to let go of these old ideas break down the way they've seen things and move forward with you we have a ten of cups here we have an ace of wands there's a brand new beginning here it's just a matter of getting each other on the same page have a wonderful day